What's up everybody, KG here back again with another video. So I'll be checking out the Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase along with the Indie World Showcase which will be live in 3 more minutes. Well, to be real, I don't know what to expect for this Nintendo Direct Showcase as a matter of fact. But hopefully, the one thing I am kind of hopefully is that we will get a <coughs> release date announcement for the Marvel vs. Capcom 3 uh, I'm sorry, Marvel vs. Marvel vs. Capcom Collection I hope that this direct um, announces a release date but other than that, to be real, I don't know what to expect in this Nintendo Direct as a matter of fact I have a feeling that, I have a feeling that uh, judging by the title, they will showcase a lot of all, all of the Indian games first and then they will showcase the the third party games. So <clears throat> without further ado, let's check out this uh, Indie World Showcase plus Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase August uh, 27 edition. So going, we're going to go live. The showcase will go live in about in 1 minute and 30 seconds so yeah I'm just gonna do this uh, live yeah it says 7 a.m. PT over here but that's like I said I don't know what to expect for this uh, again I don't know what to expect I wonder what games they will announce <coughs> in this Nintendo Direct as a matter of fact but hopefully There'll be some um, announcements that will blow my mind at the very least. I don't expect this direct to break the internet just like how it did back in the last uh, Nintendo direct where the Capcom unexpectedly announced a Marvel vs Capcom collection where it really broke the internet. Or should I say, it broke the, the minds of the FGC, such as the likes of uh, Max Maximilian. Uh, what, what, no, hold on. Roger's not technically not part of the FGC, but he 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 lost he lost he kind of lost his goddamn mind. I believe both the coefficient mm -hmm. lost his goddamn mind. Just Justin, he he was he wanted to lose his goddamn mind, but unfortunately his daughter was watching as well. So he's like, keep calm, keep calm on on the outside, but inside he is like he's definitely lost his goddamn mind right inside. So, yeah. and I believe the Nintendo Direct should be up by now because it's early. It's exactly seven a.m. PT. There you go. Hello, everyone. We'll now present today's Indie World Showcase and Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase back to back. First up, here's the Indie World Showcase. As expected, they started this off with the Indie World Showcase. And remember, I'm watching this live, okay? I'm watching this live as shown on, on the top bottom left of the screen. I'm watching this live, okay? Welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? Here's the deal. The moment I heard Joker, I was like, wait, Batman? But I was like, wait a minute, this is an indie game, so no way. Ah, okay. Okay. What's this? Ow. Okay. Music's nice though. I've been hearing a lot of good stuff about Day the Diver as a matter of fact. Among Us, okay. Okay. 
Okay. That will do. For now. Control. Friends free update available later today. Okay. Hola, som Nova d'Estudio, l'equip de Rere de Gris, i ara el pròxim joc neva. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començaran la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove Neva dels perills del seu món. Però al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. Ok, another indie game. From the creators of Greece. Wait. I've seen this game before. I think this... I think I've seen this game announced uh, in the last whatchamacallit the last indie game um, direct if I'm not mistaken or was it the last Nintendo direct? I might have to look back oh we have announced, announced now, uh, a release date, October 15. Unfortunately, it's Nintendo Switch exclusive from the way I see it. Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the role of Moth Cubit, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time this to is celebrate an RPG. the threat of a mysterious event known as the final process is looming. Can Moth and his fellow bugs save the this company? This doesn't look like an RPG at all, itself? buddy. As you investigate the cramped cubicles and creepy corridors of the corporation, you'll befriend bugs from all walks of life. This doesn't look like, like an RPG at all. With moths. Not everyone will be friendly, though. Take on enemies in verbal showdowns with multiple dialogue choices and be sure to bring your fighting words. Your choices influence how the story progresses. There are multiple secrets, quests, and endings to unravel. So experiment and see what happens. Moth Cubit buzzes onto Nintendo Switch next spring. Hey guys, we're AJ and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. We're part of Coffee Talk team, and with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi, we created Coffee Talk and Coffee Talk Episode 2. Hey everyone, I'm Anna Winterstein, a game designer and a writer. I was the co-writer of Coffee Talk Hibiscus and Butterfly, alongside Junky at Toge. Hi, I'm Junki Okawa, a writer and an English to Japanese games translator. I had the privilege to work on the Japanese translations of both Coffee Talk games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Corus to expand the Coffee Talk world. We've been hard at work over the last year to come up with a story that retains the cozy elements Coffee Talk fans are fond of, but at the same time, brings something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo. Tokyo! Okay. I'll be real, so far, when it comes to indie games, right, I mean, they, some are good, but none of the indie games that I've encountered so far have really grabbed me. I don't know, maybe indie games is just not my cup of tea in general. I mean, I've, I've seen a, a friend of mine playing a quite, quite a number of um, indie games on stream. Um, shout out to Adri Plays Something by the way. I've seen him quite, uh, uh, play uh, quite a few number of um, indie games quite a number of times. The the one with the the detective where, where you're playing as the, the, duck, the duck detective, that looks quite interesting. But 
Ah no, si Lingit. Oh, baby. And then recently he made this one uh, visual novel, and I was legit shocked that the a visual novel was uh, made by indie game Let's developers check as out well. Some upcoming downloadable content that will take you to new and unexpected places. I mean, visual Discover novels. Miniature Clockwork World in the Sea of Stars. If you have an engaging story, whoa, wait. wait. Sea of Stars is getting a DLC? Wonders ...in which Valir and Zael will have to play by new rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. I remember Seamus highly recommended this um, when, when he was talking about the... Together with new playable character when he Arnie, was voicing his opinion on last year's The Game Awards. Through dangerous dungeons he in highly recommended this game. The world of Orlage. A malevolent spectacle but on a, on a serious note, is Sea of Stars considered an indie game? On Nintendo Switch next spring. I might consider hey, checking out uh, out Sea of Stars. Sorry, Amber. But just like onions, this swamp has layers of dirt that uh, need to be blasted I, away. I remember uh, Max fine. played this game. I remember Max a played this game, but he was playing the, the Final Fantasy level. Ah, Power Wash simulator. simulator. Yeah, 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 yeah. Like I remember watching watch one of Max's stream where he was playing the Final Fantasy level during one of his streams where he was playing a Power Wash Simulator. Don a shiny suit of armor with a new knight themed character model and get your power I think it was two years ago on when the Shrek special when the Final Fantasy level was on the Nintendo uh, Switch release. system this fall. Now we have an ogre level. Hi, I'm Sam. We have I'm a Toby. Shrek uh, Our team has been working level. on a new game called Morsels. It's kind of neat. He plays a mouse okay, fighting against the Okay, back to the conversation about uh, using magical cards the, to the indie into game a that a friend of mine that, that played. It's I thought, challenging roguelike set in a grungy... I didn't I expect that people... The, 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 that ago, particular division of the I forgot what's shoot, the name of that division of the since then, uh, with the help of Sam, it looks interesting, but to me, being able to turn it into something much cooler than I Visual novels is much more engaging they enjoy the when they are voice. The but then again, please enjoy the if first you want trailer for if you want the movie. visual novel Thank to you. be voice, it's gonna cost much more money because it's much more. Uh, it's, therefore, it is much more cheaper if the in terms of budget. The visual novel game will be cheaper if it's not voice, but it's you don't feel the engagement in the visual novel you, you, where you literally have to read everything by yourself. Just like the old school um, visual novel days. I'm not. I I hope the 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 Fate Stay Night remastered is fully voice though. I really hope so. If not fully, then at least. But the, the important scenes be up their voice because if you're gonna shove me a, a vision novel that is that is entirely voiceless at all, brother, yeah, I'll I'll just like you will you will not I have I will have absolute zero interest in checking out that vision novel man. All I'm saying is that visual novels are better off they are if they are at least voiced. But if they are voiced, it's gonna cost them more, much more money because you have to pay money to these particular voice actors. Hey there! They say home is where the heart is. And that's especially true for this next game. That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything, a game in which you can, in fact, date pretty much everything. With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of unconventional partners to choose from. So, is this Fall a dating scene in game love or some with kind? Fabrizio the cabinet. Become besties with Shelly the shelf. Or come to despise Doug. Your uh, overwhelming sense of existential dread. What? Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No way! Lux the lamp is all mine! But did you know that you could even date the game itself? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtatious Xbox ranting time. dialogue with these what the hell? characters as you get to know them and form meaningful relationships. 
perish the thought, Swashbuckler. I dry as quick as my whip. And they all voice game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship or even disdain. Find the object. Yeah, this is one of those uh, vision novels. Uh, October 24th. Game. It, it reminds me of Hi, uh, Sienna, lead artist on those dating and sim I'm games Dylan, like the game designer of Peglin and the founder visual of novel Texas dating sim games like Amagami. A very good example is Amagami. The the was fall, but then again, Amag Amagami is um, ex physics where Amagami is basically you can choose to when the pandemic date started, uh, either on one of the six main heroines. That's what Amagami. That's what Amagami is basically all about. And that's what the fact Amagami had a four years later, we're anime TV seven, series we're back to in 2010, to which was the dragon stealing the goal ago. for as long as you can it's remember. It's kind of nice, but to be real, I kind of wish I get to lair and exact your revenge play the visual with the power novel. Of in this roguelike Pachinko because I I kind of want to go on a date with uh, Morishima, Haruka, Sentai, to deal damage in and along with battles. or maybe the the more uh, pegs you hit. The more devastating the blow, you'll deal to your enemies. Bounce your way to victory with a variety of different the names. Some can split. Some people didn't really cups, like her. Others will pierce but to me, I find her kind of cute. She has a, a good balance of cute and sexy at the same time. The pegs themselves have some peculiar properties too. They can explode, Wait, help you let, unlock let the critical my power of your orbs, and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular uh, just... combos. Relics will radically change your game too. Amagami. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. I need to move it. Just to name a few. Each run Characters. presents new opportunities for possible combinations. Teach those dragons a lesson when yeah, Peglin the bounces senpai. onto Nintendo Switch as a timed Kaoru console is exclusive the, the childhood later friend. today. Oh, it's Nakata Sae. Yeah. Nagata Sai is the, the the cute girl with large badonkers. I kinda like her to be real. I just don't understand why I can't understand why people didn't really like her because they find her her voice to be a little bit annoying. But I find her cute. And then we have Nanasaki Ai. A lot of people kinda like her. Then Sakurai Rihoko. Probably my least favorite uh, among the six. And then the main main heroine, which is um, Ayatsuchi Sukasa san. She's probably the most um, interesting girl among the six. But personally, I I, I prefer. Oh, okay. what the f Follow my lead and watch out for the caterpillar. We're doing great so far! Hey, careful! There's a. Andrew. Oops, let's try this again. I mean, Scoot. Scoot. The very first time I, I know about this game Good is when. Uh, Look, a key. Let's grab it. Hey, Amalie, Sayu, Joel, oh. and right, Liz. They were playing this game during one of the streams. Got it. Yay! We make a great team. To... Now let's try it with eight players. And at the end of the stream. Oh boy! As you can Alejandro, see, Alejandro, aka Sayu, in this puzzle platform, he, he literally rich quit and wait, it's a sequel? Full of ledges, cliffs, and it's a sequel? Obstacles. Use strategic stacking, coordinated movement, and puzzle solving skills to find all the keys and reach every level's exit. There are more than sixty. Levels I w I don't expect um, no how many players you the have the scuff. Time. The scuff crew to the play this game. Think again. Even greater challenges Considering the fact that what? Where your skills and your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Considering the fact that Alejandro. Whoa! When Pico Park 2 jumps on Nintendo Switch as a time console exclusive. Available later today? But well, hold on a second. Is it Switch enemies? exclusive? Some more titles headed to the Nintendo or, Switch well, will it be available on PC as well? I'm kind of curious to, uh, to, to be real, and I will not expect the the, the staff crew, who consists of um, Alejandro, Amelie, Joe, and Liz, to play this game. Considering the fact um, Alejandro literally rich quit, he literally rich quit at the 
at the end of uh, the stream, he was like, I'm done. I'm done with this shit. <laughs> uh, I'll be real, man. Bro, I don't know. Because Pico Park is really, really one of those games where you really need to... It really tests your, your teamwork. If your teamwork is absolutely horrible, then don't bother playing Pico Park. And I just realized, there's a tactics version of Metal Slug? Why not remake uh, Final Fantasy Tactics? Huh? Why not remake Final Fantasy Tactics, Square Enix? Why not? Okay, that's all for today's show. Hey, oh, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. What pizza tower? tower? I think this is a, a DLC for Pizza Tower. The reason I've heard of this game because this game was nominated at uh, the Game Awards. Uh, last, yeah, it was an anime. Uh, it was nominated during the Game Awards last year. So in the end, I forgot who won though. <laughs> I forgot who won though. But I remember Pizza Dawa being nominated during um, last year's Game Awards for. Best indie game. This has to be Pizza Tower. Even though I've never seen it, but I definitely heard of it. This is definitely one of those. Uh... I forgot what's the term though. Yeah, it is Pizza Tower. Available later today. Hold on a second. Was Pizza Tower never That's available on the Nintendo World. Switch to begin with? We hope you enjoyed today's showcase. Okay, As I think always, that's the end of uh, the indie games showcase. And partners making games for Nintendo Switch. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date on all things indie on the I have a feeling that Switch if system. Alejandro watches this uh, Nintendo Direct, he's, and when he watches that Pico Park 2 section, he's gonna get PTSD. Partner showcase starting right now. <laughs> that's what I'm getting. Until next time, happy, happy gaming. gaming! All right, Nintendo. This is just uh, a small. This is the the side dish, and now bring me the main course, Nintendo. Bring me the main course. Well, I'll be I'll be real. I kind of want to check out Sea of Stars though. To today's Nintendo I really Direct don't. Because Sea of really highly recommended that game, man. We'll be focusing um, on Nintendo like, Switch when he was discussing about the, 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 the game of Watch Dogs here. So from our I'm not considering checking it out. Partners. Once okay, I'm done with, let's get into once I'm done with Atelier Riser Three, these games are falling into place. Tetris. Celebrate the 40th anniversary of Tetris with a compilation of historic Tetris games. Tetris Forever. Experience the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. Wow. Chain combos that using so explosions in Tetris 2 plus Bombless. Let me guess, this is a Tetris collection? Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. And more in this interactive museum, including the games shown here. This is definitely a collection. In addition, enjoy the this brand new is 1000% a board, collection. Where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris Forever drops onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. No. He only mentioned the, the year, but he never mentioned the, the, the coming the to Nintendo game. Switch Online this winter. Be on the lookout for a Tetris 99 Maximus Cup event, also coming this winter. Make Tetris great again. Prince of Persia? 
not. Sorry. Journey to the galaxy's depths in this high-speed sci-fi adventure. After receiving a mysterious distress Star signal, overdrive. you'll venture through a massive alien world to reunite with your beloved. Ride the stylish hoverboard to explore stunning landscapes filled with all sorts of alien structures. This has to be a new sands game. Right. To wavy waters, each area will this challenge is definitely your traversal a new skills. Game. Along the because way, I don't think I've ever seen this game being announced before. Combat. By unlocking skills and combining different abilities, you can find more creative ways to overcome foes. You can also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, gravity, and more. Whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned as you explore every corner of this vast planet. You never know what or who you'll find. Star Overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch next year. I'm exclusive. Do In other words, it will be available on other platforms as well. Welcome but to the vast island of San Angora. That game will be Lola, Nintendo Switch exclusive for a certain period of time. Kidding. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, Boat Simulator Remastered. This was announced during um, Gamescom a few. You find. Just you last week. Town, last week, this class, was announced. Antagonize the locals. You can do all of that and more. Complete quests and gain karma to progress the story and unlock customization options. From fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including tall, angry, and even tasty goats so buckle up and grab your fashion style by the horns and you're not the only belligerent billy around here unleash all sorts of bad mischief in two-player online or couch co-op oh it's a Hope it's a two-player co-op game as well because the digital it's... version of goat Wait. simulator 3 rams its goat way simulator to Nintendo shop later today the physical version of the game launches I on the a... switch this november I thought it's the remastered version. Here's a okay. rapid fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Okay. Okay, it's a, it's a compilation right now. Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky, the first. This is definitely an action RPG game. Then, Star Wars Hunters. Nah, not. This is, I'm not interested. Skip. Then we have Stalker Legend of the Zone Trilogy. Is this the one with the the Chernobyl? No, 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 no. Worms Armageddon. Okay. Examine why it's been ten years since the very first Worms game has been released, right? I remember this game being on the the PSP back in like what 2009? Make Bikini Bottom your playground. What? OBS. Is this SpongeBob? we're getting a new S S SpongeBob Square? This uh, is Patrick. SpongeBob Square SpongeBob fans game. Stars in this physics-based sandbox adventure. Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Wait, we controlling Patrick most of the time. Some hilarious mayhem by performing whimsical skydives. Digging up treasure in the dump. Or even this is definitely a game for hardcore SpongeBob SquarePants fans. To make the world more Patrick y. <laughs> and he's not the only familiar face here. Take on Gary. comical challenges from SpongeBob, SpongeBob Sandy, Sandy, Squidward, Squidward. and more. Buckle up. You turn out the lights. Step into Patrick's shorts and the inner machinations of Oh, the Patrick Star mind. game. When SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star game launches on Nintendo Switch October 4th. Pre-orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. Next. Ready for your very own personal trainer? What? Okay, let's get started. Ready. 
Let me guess. This is something like the, the Wii. Oh, it's Venus Boxing. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. Once you're done, try going the distance. Along with an extra workout. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. It's kind of nice that uh, Nintendo is and in it's making this kind boxing, of um, you can complete exercise workout games. programs while seated kind of nice. for a different training experience. Thirty brand new songs are included. Oh boy! There are also six instructors, including two new ones. Definitely not a game to Plus, stream though, unfortunately. Because those 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 are practically DMCS songs. Nice. Those are practically DMCS songs. I'll be with you guys. Personal trainer launches on the Nintendo Switch system December fifth. This is going to be a match to remember. Capcom vs. S. Oh. Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch in Capcom Fighting Collection Two. Here's the complete. Whoa, 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 whoa! I thought Capcom vs. SNK. Capcom vs. SNK Millennium oh, Fight 2000 Pro. Capcom vs. SNK oh, Two. Oh, Mark oh, of the Millennium oh, 2001. Project. Project Justice. Justice. <laughs> Capcom Fighting Evolution. Okay, Capcom Fighting Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Street Alpha. Fighter Alpha 3 Plasma Sword Plas Net Oh Nero my Pilsa. god Plasma Sword and 12 Power Stone Oh my god Power Stone Kenny's gonna lose his goddamn mind Stone 2 Oh my god Capcom vs SNK Each game has its own training mode And is the music This is true love making baby You can also visit the Oh my god I am so getting this game I'm so getting this game! Capcom Fighting Collection 2 launches on Nintendo Switch next year. Plus, jump into the fray when Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection. Capcom, you crazy sex of bitches! Combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. What? Digital pre orders begin later today on Nintendo eShop. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch September 22nd. Physical version. So Next, please take a look at this. Whoa! 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 I expected Capcom vs. SNK. Whoa! 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 I was expecting the Capcom vs. SNK to be a part of the Capcom. SNK collection in two years, but I didn't expect it to be that soon, brother. What the hell, dude? You have no idea how much I wanted to play Cat Conferences SNK. I remember playing the living daylights of that game when, when during my teenage days. I remember playing playing that game. Like almost every single freaking day on the PlayStation 1. I mean, I get it. Um, the, the PlayStation 1 is not the best spot for Capcom vs. SK. I believe it was the. Wait. There's a new Atelier game? We hope you're looking forward to the newest entry in the Atelier series featuring a brand new protagonist. Alright, let's see some more headlines. We're getting a new Atelier game? Allies await in these Nintendo Switch games. HD remasters of the first two Suikoden games are coming Dude, to Nintendo I'm still, Switch. I still haven't bundle. finished Atelier Rise at 3, okay? Bro, that's so much. I'm still trying the process of that, the, 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 that Capcom Sky Fighting Collection earlier on. And then all of a sudden you're announcing a new Atelier game? collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat. Okay. Automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 and 2 HD Remastered. Kate Rune and do not I am so getting my hands on that Capcom Fighting Collection, Switch, man. March 6th, 2020. I am so 
getting my hands on get Biden Capcom fighting collection too. I don't give a damn because you have no, you, have, you guys have no freaking idea how much I miss playing Capcom vs SNK man. It's a, it's a perfect ride. Right? The only time I think Capcom vs SNK two was only during the arcades. It was only way for the arcades. So. But Without a shout out, I'm getting my hands on the Capcom vs SNK. Uh, oh, sorry, the Capcom Fighting Collection 2. Without a shadow, without. I'm getting my hands on that game. I don't give a. I don't give a damn. Three Castlevania games originally released on the Nintendo DS system. Capcom being Cap Gods once again. Capcom being the Cap Gods once again. And I might have to rewatch the the trailer. Featuring uh, the original and a reimagined uh, version. <laughs> Once this Nintendo Direct is over, that includes exclusive holy and a music player. smokes! Castlevania Dominus Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Holy smokes! Build something you believe in. Okay, now. Okay. The award-winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization 7. Oh, who okay. Of many legendary historical I don't leaders, give a shit. Including newly added leaders I don't give a Queen shit. Himiko. I'm... Friendship is her strength, and she can Ugh. initiate diplomatic Hold endeavors on. that help you Hold research on. new technologies. Let me have a drink. Let me have a drink. I legit lost my goddamn mind when I, when I saw Capcom vs. SNK, man. I legit lost my goddamn mind. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into major. Oh my god! Known for its scientific strength. Take me back to the good old days where I I I, I, I played Capcom vs. SNK on a very hardcore basis. An I'm pretty the sure. Of time? Um, on a revolutionary new chapter I'm pretty sure they're gonna have Robat Neko. The only thing I I really hope is that it's crossplay as well. Because from what I understand, right, the Marvel vs. Capcom collection does not have crossplay, which is kind of a bummer. Wait just a minute! Celebrate the 30th anniversary. Wait just a minute! With a remaster of the action RPG Tales Tales of Princess app. When the protagonist Asbel right. and Prince Richard meet Sophia's children, we will always be friends. The three soon become lifelong friends. I know Seven a certain someone is gonna past. lose her goddamn With mind. Friendship and desire to protect a certain ones, someone, the now a friend of mine, get entangled in a conflict who, that will who owns a trading card game shop. This remaster adds enhancements like destination icons and she enemy encounters, loves, as well as um, the main character in the um, original game, the Tales of, in this uh, Tales game, which is this guy. Because this guy is Japanese voice by Midori Kawa uh, Hikaru. Or Hikari, I forgot. Tales of Graces F remastered launches on Nintendo Available Switch January 17. Two adorable adventures, one cozy bundle. Nintendo Switch, you're gonna make people lose their goddamn minds! Puss? <laughs> We're getting a new Capcom fighting collection. Then, as I expect and as expected, a release date for Marvel vs. Capcom fighting collection. We have a new Atelier game. I might have to share that trailer again later on. Then, um, now we have a remaster for Tales of Graces F. Nintendo, what in God's name are you doing, man? What in God's name are you doing? Holy crap! More help is wanted. Um, fight 
Five Nights at Freddy's. It takes to manage this perilous pizzeria? Test your skills. I'm pretty sure they announced this before. This first person horror I'm pretty sure they announced this before. As the but newest employee dude, I look. Of pizzeria, you'll have I definitely have job duties. Th there's definitely Such some games that I have to. Helping performers prep for a show in the pizza plex salon. Really there's some trailers that I have to really watch. That's playing the nostalgic like. arcade mini games. And um, the Capcom Fighting Collection. Like the, the new uh. Um, Sounds easy enough, right? But you'll the, be doing the new all of this game. while avoiding animatronic atrocities. But then again, is this an the announcement trailer though? Become a Fazbear Entertainment uh, superstar in five nights. I'm legit Freddy's surprised that wanted to while launching while Gus Switch is busy working on the, the 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 mobile and game, right? If you're looking for they're, they're, they're doing the, the they're creating a new atelier Help game as, find her as a, uh, the ruins a console DLC for five slash piece might be available on the PC as well. Nintendo Switch they're working on a new holiday. atelier game which might be available on the on the con on console. Let's check out some Nintendo Switch games launching in time for the holidays. Because I'll be really I'll be real atelier Resident right now. Didn't really grab my attention. Didn't really grab me. Even though Ryza is in that mobile game, I had a look at the gameplay. I was like, Nah, this is this is not for me, buddy. This is not for me. Even though there are different variations of um, Ryza in that particular game. For example, there's a um, Ryza in her her first upgrade, which is from Atelier Ryza One. And then we have Reza dressing like Ampel. And then recently they released a summer version of um, Reza. Uh, along with su a summer version of Claudia as well. I mean, it's kind of nice that um, Reza Ryza is getting some love in that particular game. But in general, that game is just not for me, dude. It's just not for me. I just don't feel like playing uh, another mobile game as a of right? I don't mind checking out a new Atelier Riser game though, but Gus literally said that Atelier Riser 3 is the very last Atelier Riser game. That's the, the, the that's the final chapter of of, of Riser uh, Riser's uh, story. That's the final chapter. After that, no more, no more Atelier Riser. We'll be making an entirely new Atelier series, which was um, announced earlier on. Yeah, but we... Welcome to the eastern nation of Azuma. Azuma. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as runes ceased to exist. Rune and the land fell into decline. Okay, how do I put all these take on the Rune before. Factory series? Step into a bigger adventure than ever before. How As an Earth I dancer, all these you'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Use the sacred drum to help crops grow faster. Huh? And the sacred parasol to summon rain. These treasures and your Earth dancer abilities can revitalize the land. Restore this once oh, oh. region to cultivate fields, <laughs> construct houses, okay. and more to revive nature. That's literally farming. Prospering villages. Max got a Max. Meanwhile, Max on in East Channel. He's throwing in gifts. Stop. <laughs> Harness your earth dancer abilities to confront them. Meanwhile, next in another channel. To their human form. Oh, for every farming with uh, involve five gift subs. <laughs> That's any five gift subs already. <laughs> As you settle into village life, get to know the community around you and deepen your relationship. So I'm feeling you you throw in at, at least I want fifty five gift subs. A wedding could because even earlier be today on the he announced. Because Max has a tendency to do give some bets right before a uh, showcase, and I remember at least two of the uh, in Rune Factory in two parts of Azuma in, launching on Nintendo that Switch next. In Marvel vs. Capcom is getting an announced date is has announced next a release date will that will be fifty years up. Please take And then if there's for me where there's there's really stuff on wait. Immerse yourself in the story that started the epic saga in Yakuza, Yakuza Kiwami on the Nintendo. Meet Kazuma Kiryu, a Yakuza accused of murdering his clan's patriarch, and Haruka, a young girl on the run. Two individuals Yakuza, fates intertwined. Uh, Kiwami on Nintendo. 
set in Kamurocho, Japan's huh. largest entertainment district, Kiryu must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld while confronting rival gangs. Cheat pumpkins. Swap between four fighting styles in real time combat. Fight oh, four fighting style combats, just like in Yakuza Zero. Makeshift weapons and go up against Never played any of the Yakuza series, but there are also plenty I did watch um, some of the gameplay of Yakuza Zero so as a matter of fact, where Kiryu literally has um, four four fighting com fighting style combat. Yeah. Discover how the epic series began. When Yakuza Kiwami launches on Nintendo Switch, October 24th. Early release day? That's all for today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Whoa, Thank that's you it? For watching. That's it? You're gonna end it with the Yakuza Kiwami um, announcement? I thought the day they were gonna end it with a bang, but holy crap. And I just realized, I get to play Street Fighter Alpha 3 as well? This is probably one of the best Nintendo Nintendo Direct showcase that Nintendo has live streamed as of this very moment. Like I kid you not. The announcement in this Nintendo Direct is pretty wild as a matter of fact. Marvel Capcom Fighting Collection has um, has a release date. Then the I did not expect that Capcom released a fight another fighting collection and that particular fighting collection contains one of my favorite fighting games of all time which is Capcom vs SNK and as a matter of fact they, they, even in that particular Capcom fighting collection they have um, um, Street Fighter Alpha 3 as well and then there's a new Atelier series game that has been announced Yakuza Kiwami will be available on a Nintendo Switch and then the Tales of Graces will be getting remastered. Dude, this is probably one of the best Nintendo Direct I have ever watched as of this moment. I'm not gonna lie. This this Nintendo Direct is probably a solid 9 out of 10 as a matter of fact. I mean granted the indie world is practically a, a, a side dish. And then when the Nintendo Direct comes in. Dude, the amount, the amount of the announcement in this Nintendo Direct literally blew my mind. Ever since the, ever since the the, the Capcom um, party collection announcement, from that particular session onward, it's been banger over banger over banger over banger. Like, wow. I, I am at a loss of words.